Nine ball, double kiss into the corner. Ah, and four rails back up. Four rails and a back up. Perfect. Perfect oh, position on the one ball. Perfect break. Hello, you can't believe what happened when I was out with my dog. I saw a rat. He was like not, not this big, but this close to me. Rat was this close to me, okay? One, one meter from my dog, two meters from myself. It was just still. The rat was still. Just look, looked around and looked very relaxed. I wanted to sh shoot a video of the rat, but this time I didn't have my, f my phone with me that I normally use. I only had my little phone that you can't record anything with this. So I couldn't, I couldn't film the rat that I saw. It, it was the first time in my life that a rat is that close to me without running away. And it was there for maybe five minutes. I was, I was just walking around there and the rat was still in the same spot. Then I went closer to the rat. I went closer to the rat. And then I, wa I wanted to know how close I can get to the rat before he starts running away. So my dog was one meter away. We went a little closer and then the rat ran away very quickly. <laughs> so that was very, very fun to see. But it is strange that those times you don't have your phone with you. Something happens and you wish you had your phone with you so you can record. So you keep, your, you keep it in the pocket every time when you go outside and then nothing happens. There's nothing to record with your smartphone. And then the, the one single time you don't have your smartphone with you, then you, there's something you need to record and you will miss it. Okay? You miss that. And so stra strange things happen. It is strange how, how things like that happen. And uh, so it, it is, now it is time to play some pool, okay? Time to play some pool. So uh, people have requested that I will make break and run, okay? Break and run. So this is the first, first time I attempt this. And I, I highly doubt that I will be able to run in this rack because I'm not able to break at home because I, I live in an apartment, okay? I live in an apartment, so you are not allowed to make a lot of noise. If you, what was that? I was leaning against the, my phone and what, what it is calling someone. I put, it, I put the phone somewhere else. So if you if you play if you if you play pool in a pool hall, you maybe carry your phone in your pocket, and that is a mistake because you will play worse with it. Sometimes you do pocket call someone in the middle of a match, and that is not good. So how I like to break a ten ball is by placing the cue ball somewhere in this position here. So you have four, uh, one fourth, this is one fourth, one eighth, one, eight, one eighth distance from the rail here. And then you break, you try to make the eight, one, two, three, four rails in the corner pocket there. Four rails in the corner, one, two, three, and I got a double, double kiss there. Yeah, so from... You need to, with every table, you need to decide the perfect placement of the cue ball so, so that the corner ball goes four rails into the, into the corner there. So this was a bad, bad break. I normally, I normally break from the other side, but this time I want, for the camera, I want the balls to be closer so you can see better. 
this time I will I will place the cue ball in another position, another spot. Here I now I place one fourth, one fourth distance from the rail, and I look at the diamond here, move it forwards from the diamond, so it is exactly one fourth from the rail. Now I will play, I will break again. And this time the nine ball, I want the nine ball to go four rails around the table. Four rails around the table and now I've got a double kiss again there, you saw? Very difficult. So on some tables, on some tables you can't do that. Impossible. So I, I will just switch, switch to the other side. Or maybe just break from the, from the other. I would just break from, from the other side of the table, so I, because in, in a match you can't do that. You must break from, you must have the rack in the same, same end of the table, so you can't do that. So this was fun, trying to find a way, trying to find the best way to break. Very fun, very fun. Lesson for you here, how to break in tempo, so I think that is the first thing I need to show you here before I make any break and runs. So here I will break from this side. Okay, I will choose um, uh, one fourth, one fourth distance from the rail there, and then I will break. I I, I try to make the eight ball four rails into the corner. One two. No, I got a double double hit, double kiss again. Double kiss, you see? Double kiss. I will, I will just move the magic rack to the other side. I want to show you that it is, it is possible here to, to, to do that kind of shot. Maybe the spot is in the wrong place here. I don't know. But from this side, it is much easier to make the corner ball. Four rails. That is the pro break. The pro break. Now the four ball, I will make the four ball. Four ball, I will make four rails into the corner. Okay, four rails into the corner. One, two, I got a double hit again. Double hit, can you believe it? So it is not, not about the the side of the table then, I will put it back. Okay, so now we have tried, okay? In every, every single break, we got the double hit on the corner ball, and double kiss. So this time we need to make something different, okay? Something different, and you can see that you need to do this on every table. You need to find the magic spot. So one fourth distance did not work, one eighth distance did not work. How about something in between them? Okay, something in between those two. Okay, here's one fourth, and here is one eighth. We place it in the middle, middle between those two points. This point there, this one there, we place it in the middle between those two. And let's, let's try again. Ah, better, you saw, better. Almost didn't hit the one ball. So it is the one ball that's making the kiss on the corner ball. The one ball. And now you can see that, yeah, maybe we will place it closer to the center here to make the one ball avoid the corner ball. So you can't just break randomly and you expect that you will win. You need to break with control and look at what will happen with the balls. Break with control. So now we know that uh, it is the one ball that is, that is kissing the corner ball. So let's place it uh, to the left here from the, this is the one, one fourth, one fourth distance. Place it here, little to the left. So this is a three, this is two, two eighths, three eighths. Three eighths distance from the rail. Let's see if we have better luck this time. Yeah, you see, you see that? Now, 
Now, yeah, the knife was going towards the corner there. You saw that? Now, that is the break you want to use here. On this table here. On this table. And you see that's got pretty good, pretty good there. So, uh, if you want to avoid the double hit on the one ball with the corner ball, you want to move it either to either closer to the rail or further away from the rail. And now we find a good spot there. And we can do the same thing from the left side of the table. Here's the two eighths, three eighths distance from the rail. And now we do it again. The five ball should go four rails into the corner. I got the double hit with the cue ball this time, so we will do it again. You need to hit it center so the cue ball doesn't kiss the corner ball. So this is a very difficult. Uh, breaking in 10 ball is extremely difficult. You need to break with the correct speed and break in the correct place. Correct place. And I will place it. I will place it again in the same spot here. Three eighths from the side rail, and now I will make the uh, I will make the six ball four rails. I got a kiss from the three ball there. So it was the second second ball there, and let's do it again. This is going to be a very long video. We found that the, the best place was that spot there, so we will do it again. We will place the balls there. Yeah, we will put the balls here so you can see which ball we kiss the corner ball. Two and three there. It is very difficult to find uh, uh, which balls uh, hit hit the balls if, if, it, if the break is so fast. Okay, so now we know the best place so far is here. Three fourths from this side rail. So I will do it again. The five ball should go four rails into the corner. Four rails. One, two, three, and four. The, ooh, the four ball was in the way. You saw that? You saw that? We, we made a lot of progress here. We made a lot of progress here in this video. So already after you have practiced the, the break a few times, you already make a lot of progress on the table, so before you play a match, you want to make the break shot many times until you find a sweet spot, until you find the correct place, placement of the, the cue ball in the break. So now we, I think we found a good, good place here and then you can fine tune this, this place, this spot here. Let's see if we, if we can avoid any balls. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Ah, we got a double hit there. Maybe we can uh, place the cue ball in a slightly, slightly different place this time because we got so many, uh, many kisses from other balls there. So we should place the cue ball in a slightly different place. But so far that place is very good because the corner ball is going towards the corner pocket. It is just the other balls that are in the way. So now, here is the three, three eighths from the side rail, is this place, three eighths. And now we will move it halfway. So this will actually be, uh, uh, six sixteenths, seven sixteenths, uh, right? Seven sixteenths length from the side rail. So we will we will attempt this and try to make the five ball go four rails into the corner without any kisses. Oh, that was look at that. It hit the six ball there, so we are we are making great progress here, to finding the perfect break break shot, finding the perfect break shot.
this is going to be a very long video, but it would be worth it to find the perfect place for the break. Otherwise, I won't be able to make these videos if I just keep on breaking and never making a ball. So this time, uh, how, what was the place? Uh, 7 sixteenths distance from the side rail. Let's make another break. Let's see what will happen if, if we make any good break. Yes, yes, yes. Why is that in the way? Why, I, why is that ball in the way all the time? We need to make a different placement for this, for the cue ball, because both times the balls were in the way. Both, both times. So we need to move, we need to move the cue ball a little bit. Need to move the cue ball a little bit. Yeah, okay. So we, here we were, we had uh, in this spot we had seven sixteenths uh, distance from, from the, the side way, and now we will do. Uh, 14 32 15 32s distance from the side rail 15 32s so one one 32s distance from the spot here one 32s one 32nd one 32nd what am i talking about one 32nd it is called one 32nd and let's try it again Let's see what we have here. Ah, so many balls hit, hit the cue ball there. So that, that did not work. That did not work there. So we make it again so you, so you can learn how you will adjust the break to find the perfect break. Okay, finding the perfect break here. You will follow me how I do it. To find the perfect break, so I haven't broken any, maybe made, made any temple racks, temple breaks on this table. Uh, one thirty second distance from the rail. No, nope, it doesn't work. That spot did not work. It just other balls hit the corner ball. Let's continue then. Let's continue. Let's continue. So one thirty-two from the one thirty-second. One thirty-second. One thirty-second. From it didn't work. So we will go to the other side. Here we have the. I forgot what it was called here. Um, one. Uh, Three eighths, three eighths from the side rail, and now we need to move it between one fourth and uh, one three eighths. So in the middle between those two. Okay, in the middle between those two. So let's see if we have uh, any luck here. Do we have a better result here? No, nope, that ball is in the way. That ball is in the way every single time. That ball is in the way every single time. So we need to fix. We need to fix this problem, okay? Because these balls here are in the way when the corner ball is coming back. So we need to make something different here. We need to move it further to, to the right. And we need to play so that the one ball does not uh, kiss the corner ball. So back, back here again, we are one eighth. We will try one eighth from the side rail, and then we will try to hit the one ball on the left side. So the one ball uh, actually, we, we will try to control the one ball better here. Let's see. <laughs> 
we made the one there with a double kiss. So we need to move it further to the right. We will try to move it further to the right this time. You, look, you, saw, you saw that the one ball double hit, uh, the, the one ball kissed the corner ball. So that did not work there. So now we need to move, try to maybe make the one ball in the side pocket even. Move it, move the cue ball. Yeah, we can move it between those two points here instead. We haven't tried this before. This is something we, we, we haven't tried this placement before. Let's see if it works good. Let's see if it works good. And, oh, it, that was the best so far. You saw that? That was the best so far. Best placement so far. We almost made the corner ball there. We almost made the corner ball there. That was the best placement. Huh? Uh, I'm very satisfied that we found a good place to break from. So this is one fourth. Uh, two, two eighth, one eighth, so halfway between between those two, four sixteenths, and uh, two sixteenths, so three sixteenths, three sixteenths distance from the side rail, three sixteenths. 3 16 distance from the side rail, that's the best position we have so far. We can double hit there. I think I hit it wrong. I didn't hit the square on. Need to hit the pack uh, straight on. So we just need to ignore, ignore the result from that break. Otherwise you will get wrong results because we didn't I didn't hit it straight on so actually it is like the cue ball started from another location three fourths three fourths no three eighths three uh, is it no three sixteenths three sixteenths from the side rail right yes three sixteenths uh, from the side rail. Uh, I hit it better that time. Oh, 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 there, yeah, there. That is the break. We found the break. How many times did, did we break? Maybe 20 or something. But we found the break now. That is the break. 3 sixteenths distance from the side rail. Okay. 3 sixteenths distance from the side rail. Just need to calc count it again to see that, that it is accurate. And then you need to write it down in your, in your log book, the exact placement of each table. Very important, so you don't need to do it again. This is uh, one fourth distance. Uh, this is uh, so one fourth distance is the same as four sixteenths distance. Same thing, four sixteenths distance. And this is uh, two sixteenths distance. And in between the two is three sixteenths distance. So three sixteenths distance from the rail is the best placement for my table here. Okay, three sixteenths. Let's see if let's see if we can make it again. Need to hit it square on. I made a seven there. I made a ball, so that works. We can we can say that that was a successful break. We can say even if it uh, looks strange, but maybe sometimes you will get a kiss into kiss into the corner. So two breaks in a row, we were we had good shape. So you need to count those also, those breaks where you you made a ball, okay? Because sometimes you will make a ball in another pocket, so you you need to count that as a success as well. 
So now we will place it three sixteenths, three sixteenths. You place it like this. You, you can measure it the, with the Q here and the diamond here and put it in the middle between those two. And then you just move it straight, straight forwards with your hand. Okay, and that is the perfect placement we have now. Okay. Yeah, look, 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 oh, almost, almost. So after you find the correct placement, you need to find the proper speed to break with. Proper speed. It, the, the speed of the break makes a big difference. If you break too hard, you won't, you won't get the same result. And if you break too soft, you won't get the same result either. So I think I broke too, a little too hard. On, on, that, on that break shot. I need to break softer. I need to break softer. Okay? Break a little softer this time. Break a little softer this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ten ball, ten ball. Wow. Yeah. So, you can see that the seven was going towards the corner and not many balls were in the way at all. So this is the best placement we have. I will just do it another time to see to see how the the result I get. I will break softer this time, softer. I broke that a little too hard. Little too hard I broke that rack. And I place it here, and place it here, and you can see the spot here. So you can actually put it in the exact, exact same spot as before. I will, I, will, I will break a little softer this time. Softer. That was soft, soft. Ah, another ball came to kiss it. So I need to break a little harder this time. Just a little bit harder to find the sweet spot. We already found the perfect placement of the cue ball. Now we need to find the perfect speed to break uh, the ball with. We need to find the perfect speed. And I broke, before I broke too hard, too soft. Now I break in the middle between those two. I break between those two speeds. Okay? I will break between those two speeds. And then I will have the magic, magic speed of the break I will have. Yeah, that is better. That is per perfect. Uh, oh, I didn't make it. I did not make it. I hit the, I think I hit the, the too far to the right on the break there. But I still made a ball. I made a ball. So that counts as a success because sometimes if you don't hit it square, you hit it a little, little wrong, then another ball goes in and that is a success. That is a magic, magic break there. If you fail to hit it straight, but another ball still goes in. And that is the best, best, uh, best break you can get if you hit it wrong and another ball goes in. That is the best break you can get. So let's, let's do it again. I will try to hit it square on. Try to hit it square on. This time, square on. And you can see, and we will see what will happen. Square on, square on. Another ball that kissed it. So you see, I think I hit that, did I hit that too, too soft? Probably hit it too soft. I will break it harder. Break harder this time. I'm gonna break it. Break harder this time. Okay. Yeah. Do it again. Over and over again. And this is something you need to do. You need to do this in, on every table, and it it may become very boring. But you need to do it. I'm gonna break harder this time. Yeah. If I break hard, I get the double kiss. Okay, I have to break soft. I got a much better result when I broke soft. When I broke hard, I even scratched. So 
when the time comes when you scratch in the brake, uh, then you need to fix that. You can't brake hard. You will scratch. Okay, so I, softer brake was working better for me. Softer brake was working much better for me there. Yeah. Let's do it again. Softer brake this time. Softer brake. Brake is soft. Soft. Ah, that was better. Softer break. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, perfect. You see, perfect. We found the speed. We found the speed. And now we just need to find cue ball control for position on the one ball. Okay. It, it just co keeps co on continuing. We found the magic spot. We found the magic speed. Now we need to control the cue ball to find the position for the one ball. Okay, that is what we need to find right now. And it is, it is really this, this complex to find a great break. It is really this complex. And many, many pros do this all day long to find the, the perfect uh, 10 ball break. But what, what they fail to realize is that it is different on each, each table. It is different on each table, but you need to learn how to do it on every table. So now I will use a little draw. I will use a little draw to draw back the cue ball. Ah, four ball was there. That was a successful break there. Successful break, uh, and, and I used to, with the draw, maybe the one ball went in because I switched into draw. So think about that. Using draw might have resulted in making the, the one ball in the side. And we will see it again. If we, if we can make the one ball in the side again, that would be great because then we can make two balls in the break. Two balls in the break we can make. Now I will break soft again with a little draw. Little draw here. Ah, one ball did not go in. That ball goes in the corner. Perfect, perfect. And we already have an improved position for the one ball there. If the eight was not in the way, then we, we would have a great, great break. A great layout to continue the run. And you see that I'm making a lot of progress here. I'm, I'm making a lot of progress here in this video. And that is the long, long path for uh, success. But uh, the break shot should be controlled. It should never be luck. Break shot should, should never be luck. It should be controlled. That is why the pros win so much because they control the break. They control the break to perfection. Let me make a little, little draw here. Little draw. Yeah, my Lord. And now the cue ball, we drew it too far back, so we got a kiss of the one ball, uh, of the cue ball. So the cue ball should stay somewhere here and let the corner ball go past the cue ball. So we want the cue ball to stop. We want the cue ball to, to stop somewhere in, in, the, in this area here, away from the path of the corner ball. Corner ball. We can also, and we can't really draw it back past this line because um, because you will you may get the, the double kiss on the cue with the cue ball twice, two two chances, both when the corner ball goes here you can you can get a double kiss, and when it, when it's on the way back you, you can get the double kiss with the cue ball. So that's something that is something you need to avoid there. You need to avoid that. And you see that I'm not breaking hard at all. Everyone can break this at this speed. I could of course break extra hard and then, we'll, then we would have another position of the cue ball on the head string but this video is for those who break soft and want to control everything you want to control everything in the break to maximize your chances of getting a good position after the break but this time I will not use that much draw on the cue ball. 
halfway between uh, what I used before. Okay, let's see what we will get. Ah, we got a double hit there, but we made a, we made a ball. That is a success there also. Let's see how much recording time I have. Seven minutes. Seven minutes of recording time. And you can see that uh, we, we were quite uh, successful in, in this break from that spot at the different speeds, but we, we don't get good position on the one ball yet. So that is why 10 ball is extremely difficult. Extremely difficult to play 10 ball. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah, that is pretty good. The cue ball is over there. And we made the corner ball in the corner. So, cue ball was away from the hitting the corner ball there. Yeah, but we had the six ball in the way and the two ball in the way. So I think that is a bit unlucky there, unlucky. And you probably won't see me making any 10 ball break and runs because 10 ball is very difficult to break, very difficult to break uh, in 10 ball. It is up to luck to get good shape, but you can control it to the best of your ability. So you are able to be more consistent in your break. So you, you actually don't need to break over and over again, just hoping for luck. You want to break in a controlled way. You want to control it. So I will just break in the exact same way. And I will hope that I will not get snookered. Okay, exact same way. And I got up, you see, you see that that often happens in this break right now. You see that? that that may seem like it, it is luck, but it has happened many times, you see. Many times in the, with this exact same break. Double kiss into the corner. I think that has happened uh, uh, more often than making it in this corner for rails. Yeah, you see that? And I have position on the one ball. Maybe this is, a, this is the break we are going to try for. Double kiss in the corner. Is that my break now? Huh? Corner ball, one, two rails, double kiss into the corner. That is my new break, okay? That is my new break, and I get good position on the one ball. So that is my new break right now. So actually, sometimes you will have crazy solutions for your break. To find the optimal break, you will have a crazy double kiss break sometimes that work for you. And of course, then you need to accept that. You need to ac accept those rare circumstances that you will get a crazy break. But you see that most often it worked best for me to get the double kiss into the corner. That works best for me right now in this break. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to play it that way. Double kiss, okay? I will play to get the double kiss into the corner for the, from the corner ball and now the corner ball is the nine ball. One, two rails, double kiss into the corner, okay? So I will play it, play it that way. Ah, you saw, you saw that, you saw that. And if I miss that corner, that corner ball, I made the one ball in that corner. Position on the two ball. Can you believe it? Wow, what a break there, what a break. I'm very satisfied. This is a crazy double kiss break that I found. And you, you can find this yourself if you just, if you are patient, if you are patient and experiment on your table, what works best for you. And this works best for me to get a crazy double kiss break. That works best for me. I, my recording time is uh, running low now, so I'm going to end this video very soon. So I, I'll just make another break. Do it until the end, okay? I will do it until the end. Difficult to concentrate now after so, so long time, but I will still do it. Four ball, double kiss into the corner. 
Okay, full ball, double kiss into the corner. No, I didn't make it, but if I miss the double kiss, ooh, I almost made it in the corner there. I, I, made, a, I made a ball. I'm making a ball every single time right now from this magic spot. This, this is the magic break right here. Magic break. Finding the magic break. It took 40 minutes to find the magic break, but here it is. Here it is. Now you know how to do it yourself on your own table to find the magic magic break, and then you can play against your friends, win some money. Okay, gamble with your friends because you know you know the perfect break on your table. Perfect speed, perfect spot, perfect double kiss. Perfect double kiss. Uh, now I made it in the corner, perfect, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I found the break, I found the break. Uh, so after hard work you get rewarded, you get rewarded after hard work of trying to find the break. And of course it is very difficult in, in a tournament when you play with other tables very difficult but on your own table you can find the perfect perfect magic break huh? my eyes are getting tired now let's see double kiss into the corner of the eight ball okay magic break is coming magic break is oh close 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 i think i hit that too hard that was I was hitting that too hard and I only have one and a half minutes left. One and a half minutes. So this is going to be my last break then. My last break. Let's see. Let's see what will happen in my last break. Okay, let's see what will happen in my last break. Okay, secret break coming. Secret, secret break coming. Four ball double kiss into the corner. Okay, and I will shoot it a little softer this time. I shot it too hard the last time, so. Double kiss into the corner. Close, close. Close, that was close. Yeah. Do I have time for another, another break? 45 seconds. 45 seconds. 45, I don't think I will make it. Will I make it? Will I make it or not? Will I make it or not? Ah. Need to hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Final break. Final break. Nine ball. Double kiss into the corner. Ah, and four rails. Back up. Four rails at the back up. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, position of the one ball. Perfect break. Per one second left. Memory full. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.